Listen, Lenny, I don't know what to tell you. The soul came to me saying they died in 1897. I'm not responsible for lost souls. Last time I checked, that's not in my job description. As an intern, that's your responsibility, okay? I simply just check them in and send them on their merry way. Well, someone has to figure it out before one of the death gods finds out. All right, call me back when you figure out what happened. Okay, Lenny? All right, thank you, doll. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Done. Janice, you have outdone yourself once again. Look at you go. <coughs> Thank you for your patience, doll. Welcome to the department for recently departed souls. How can I help you? What is the department for recently departed souls? Well, some call it the afterlife. Some call it the great beyond. Some people call it the light at the end of the tunnel. Some people call it purgatory. You can call it anything you like, really. I just simply call it the void. It has a nice ring to it. Who am I? I'm Janice. I work here in the department for recently departed souls. I'm the one in charge here. I basically help souls get checked in and get them to their desired afterlife. Well, if you are standing here in front of me, then yes, I assume that you have died, kicked the bucket, passed on. Did some figures in dark cloaks give you a ticket with a number on it? Alrighty, good. You can give that to me. This is your case number. It helps me with understanding your life accomplishments, and it also tells me if you were an a-hole or not. Yes, that is in fact very important information for me to know. Uh, but lucky for you, uh, you've got nothing to worry about. I see here you were an advocate for animals and saving the planet. I love that for you. You also were an advocate for the bees and planting more native wildflowers for pollinators. Lovely! You must really love nature, huh? We need more people like you on that godforsaken planet. Too many a-holes keep ruining it for everyone else. And when the rest of them die, I'm gonna have a field day in this office, I'll tell you that. Yes, horrible people are punished after death. And I get to choose their punishment. Ah, uh, <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> Anyways, um, reading through your case file here, doll, I, I don't see any uh, religious affiliation, which normally means I would send your soul into space. Um, but since you've done so many admiral things in your lifetime, uh, you'll get to decide. What afterlife you would like your soul to rest in until you decide your uh, next reincarnation. And just so you know, doll, souls must wait a minimum of a year until they can apply to uh, reincarnation, okay? Wonderful. All right. Just so I can finish up your paperwork. Uh, where would you like your soul to rest, doll? You're not sure? Hmm. Well, yes, I can understand there are many afterlifes to choose from. Would you like me to explain any of them to you, doll? Alrighty, let's see. Let me look through my list here. Uh, I'm guessing I don't have to explain heaven to you. Yeah, I figured. You don't want to go up there anyway. There's a bunch of old people and uh, weird-looking angels with a bunch of eyes everywhere. It's quite terrifying, if you ask me. Uh, and you certainly don't apply for hell or purgatory or any other hell-related afterlife. So I'll skip those. Let's see, there's the underworld associated with the ancient Greek and 
modern Greek religion. Uh, basically, you'll be sent down there with a coin. Uh, you'll give the coin to the ferryman Charon. He's wonderful, by the way. Um, though, he's not much of a talker. Uh, so don't expect to have a conversation with him, okay, doll? Uh, he will take you down the river Styx on his boat. And you'll be brought to Hades and Persephone for your judgment. Don't worry, though. Persephone will be impressed with your file. So, you'd probably be sent to the Elysian Fields. It's very lovely. And there's plenty of flowers and greenery. And it's a paradise. What can I say? Next, there's the uh, Nordic Afterlife of Hell. Or Helheim. It's ruled by Hell. She is... How do I put this? She's a bit of a grump, mainly because she was kicked off of Asgard by Odin and she's still kind of pissed about it, but hey, at least she gets her own realm to rule. <laughs> Did I mention she has parental issues? Anyways, moving on. Uh, let's see, there's the Egyptian or Kemetic Afterlife. They also call it the Underworld or Eternal Life. I hope you're not afraid of giant jackals because the god who would be escorting you through this underworld is a giant jackal god. Yeah, his name is Anubis. He's pretty chill. As long as you're nice, he'll be nice to you. He will have to weigh your heart against some feathers though, but seeing your case file here, again, you should be fine. Would you like me to explain any more or have you made your decision already? Excuse me? You want to be reincarnated immediately? I'm sorry, doll, but I already told you that souls must wait at least a year until applying for reincarnation. I understand you'll miss trying to save the Earth, but... All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me try calling someone. Hello, Jeremy. How are you, doll? <laughs> yes, um, I have a soul here that has just passed on, and they want to immediately apply for reincarnation. Yes, I told them, but, uh, they ain't budging. Yes, I just sent you their case file through email. Wait. So you're telling me this isn't the first time they've tried this? Ah, I see. I remember. Okay, alrighty then. Thank you, Jeremy. You have a good one, doll. Okay, bye-bye now. Well, I just spoke with the higher-ups, and they said according to your file, this isn't the first time you've tried to reincarnate immediately. Shocker. However, seeing that all of your past life case files show that you've always been a good Samaritan to the Earth, the higher-ups gave me the okay to let you reincarnate early. Alright, doll. All I need you to do is fill out this paperwork. This is just so we know who you want to be in your next life and what you want to do. You can fill it out in the waiting area over there. Once you're done, you can bring your paperwork back to me, and then I'll send you off to reincarnation, okay? Alrighty, y'all. I'll see you in a bit.